hello guys i am back again still updating you with the breaking trending news what is going on in nigeria good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day okay um i don't know where to start but uh, let me begin from somewhere uh, you have seen that already on your screen uh these are unknown gunmen as we already know that every monday it's um, a lockdown we sit at home in Southeast, irrespective of the threat uh, by their state governors and so on. Lockdown and sit at home continues in Southeast. Uh, today being Monday. And then the, um, just a recap, Namdekano will appear in Federal High Court. That is um, on Thursday in Abuja. Okay, so um, I believe if this uh, situation, this insecurity uh, is not well taken care of, Southeast will become something else like seriously i'm talking about the enforcement of this unknown gunmen look at them it's open they are parading in navy with now the question is as in who is the sponsors of these people because looking at uh sometimes the vehicle they use well i really don't know let me not uh, conclude uh the vehicle they use it's always a clean vehicle clean cars and so on and these people it's not as if they are kidnapping for ransom though some criminals do that all right but these guys their main aim is just destruction like seriously that is their primary purpose who is sponsoring these people just like what ipob says they are all being sponsored by politicians yes politicians uh hope was already mass said that i think uh, this person the boy state governor also confirmed that that this uh insecurity in southeast it's uh, from politicians and so on now i remember when hobo zodima said um, in two weeks time that he will publicly uh give the names of politicians that are sponsoring uh the killings insecurity in the emo state so this is over two weeks nobody seems to hear that kind of story anymore so for you to know that um these politicians they can go to uh, they can go any length, any extent, just to lie. Yes, two weeks has gone because, according to Hopu Zodima, uh, that the investigative team said they need two weeks uh, to conclude their investigation. That you don't want to mention them, not to truncate the investigation. But this is over two weeks. Nobody seems to hear. You know, people that are sponsoring this thing. Why not tell the DSS? Why not go after them? If the security forces could track. Uh, somebody like Mazinam Dekanu, all the way from Nigeria to Kenya. Why couldn't or why can't they track these people, the sponsors of all these unknown gunmen, the people that are causing insecurity in Southeast? Why? Okay, the same issues, the bandits. What about the bandits? If you could track Nam Dekanu all the way to Kenya and then you extraordinary rendition him to Nigeria, the same bandit that kidnapped, asked for ransom, they are using phone call to make some, uh, you know, to reach out to their victim's family for ransom. Why can't you track that number? Yes, that is the question we should ask. Remember Pantami, uh, uh, the minister of, I think, communication or so, that the NIM registration on SIM card was to, you know, cop insecurity, track some you know, unknown gunmen track some people that are causing insecurity, especially bandit in Nigeria. But what happened? Almost on a daily basis, bandit keep abducting, asking for ransom. They call the families of those uh, victims. Now, why can't you track them? Why can't security forces track them? It's a question we really need to look into, like seriously. Remember, there was a story of uh, one military man who says, um, I think he wanted to resign uh why should look into uh corrupt uh military men officers in nigerian army okay so according to him that they are accomplices all right guys um that is the update let me know what you guys think see you in another video